Randomized controlled trials with placebos play an important role in the evaluation of healthcare interventions. They allow for the true effect of treatments to be estimated by quantifying the placebo effect. These trials are considered to be the gold standard study design in terms of blinding or masking of patients, trial personnel and healthcare professionals to trial group allocation. Placebos are routinely used in pharmaceutical trials. However, their use in surgical trials can be controversial. There are ethical considerations because of potential risks to patients and they can be challenging to design and deliver. Invasive interventions, including surgery, are complex, comprising of multiple interacting components. And there are often numerous co-interventions that accompany the surgery, such as anaesthetics, antibiotics, nutritional interventions, or physiotherapy. Because of this, it can be difficult to decide which components to include or exclude from the placebo. Designing a placebo intervention that's indistinguishable from the active treatment is also hard because of the invasive nature and intrinsic role of the clinical staff who may be needed to physically deliver the intervention. To overcome this challenge, we developed the DITTO framework to optimize the design and delivery of invasive placebo interventions. This example shows the framework being applied in a hypothetical randomized control trial comparing appendectomy with a placebo intervention. In stage one, the invasive intervention is deconstructed into its constituent components, including all of the accompanying co-interventions. In stage two, the critical surgical element or elements, this is the part believed to provide the therapeutic benefit, are identified. In stage three, these are removed from the placebo intervention whilst remaining in the treatment intervention. Stage four involves considering the risks, feasibility and role of the placebo when deciding which of the remaining components should be included in the placebo. Finally, stage five involves optimizing the placebo to ensure that patients and trial personnel cannot tell whether the patients receive treatment or the placebo intervention. These could include removing auditory or visual cues, as well as omitting details from hospital notes and ensuring patients spend the same time in operating and recovery rooms. These five stages should be considered iteratively when designing invasive placebo interventions. In summary, the DITTO framework can facilitate the optimization, design and delivery of high quality surgical randomized control trials needed to inform clinical decision making and improve patient care. Thank you for watching.